Good morning everyone and today I will show you how to emulate perfectly, perfectly, perfectly all Resident Evil games for PS1 and all the pre-rendered backgrounds games since they have a particular type of emulation. I will leave the links in the description of all the stuff we need. Those are just two, plugins.zip and the second one is our emulator. In this case is PSXR, not a PSXE. PSXR, uh, it works uh, very fine and is perfect for this kind of games. From the moment that we have this plugin.zip, we just open it. We have this folder plugins. We open the folder of our emulator, if we do it. Don't match to my uh, background's dynamic. And we just take these plugins and uh, paste in here, just to drag and drop. I won't do that because uh, 7 zip is too slow and it will waste about one minute. When it will ask you if you want to overwrite, you say yes. The first time you run PSAXR, it will guide you through a, a configuration. You can choose whatever plugin you want or just keep it. It doesn't matter since we are going to configure it the second time you open it. Just right now. Okay, click configuration. You just do that. It takes uh, some time. I don't know why. So, you just choose the plugins that correspond to those. So, this is the sound configuration plugin. And in this case, I can say it, it works very perfectly. Apart a little bug in the, in the intro that I will show you later, but it's nothing to care about. Let's go to the most important thing, the graphics. Now, just copy this configuration. The most important thing of the configuration is this part in here, which emulates almost perfectly the old CRT screen's effect. Here we have the shader effects, which emulates all the dots produced by the cathode tube of the, um, the old CRT. Here you can uh, choose the level. The higher is this level, the more blurry is the experience. It will uh, appear like if you have a glass with the steam on it and it's not very good. I leave it on medium. It's a fine experience, then I will show you. What about the scan lines? The scan lines emulates perfectly the scan lines of the old CRT. In the same time, this produced an high brightness. If you remember, the old CRT uh, were more more bright because of the laser of the cathode tube projected on the glass of the screen. So at zero, it will be too much sunny, too much bright. So I leave it at minus one. It's the best compromise that we can have. Now, we skip directly to the test of this uh, configuration. I have done my uh, image of my original copy of the games. I will launch Resident Evil. And just in real time, we will see our beautiful game. As you can see, it's very, very accurate, almost accurate, the, the brightness and the, the shiny. This, this was the bug that I was saying before, but this is the only audio glitch that you will, uh, you will uh, in see in the game. So, no matter, let's see if I have some... Uh, some loaded, uh, yeah, yeah. It's very, it's very fine. It's uh, it's the best that we can have, guys. This, uh, you can see some uh, some CRT effect. It's beautiful on a full HD screen. So this is how will appear the the experience. I will show you just the dining room for the joy of Barry. Barry! <laughs> wow. What a mansion! <laughs> the clock is in his place. Check the, um, the table. 
is not so much pixelated like if you have on EPCXE. -E. Pre rendered backgrounds are uh, most accurate. Okay, dudes, this is all for now. Uh, if you have any questions, don't be shy, just ask me, and uh, we will see in the next video. Bye.